Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we are with an, another video that is uh, which is completely related to certified freshers. Okay, so lot of them, like many of us, will be having a query being a certified fresher. Like uh, we are getting uh, this resumes no day by day. So when we contact these candidates, we are getting lot of information like this company we don't need because uh, uh, after training they will terminate us. This company I don't need. That company I don't need. Like this, um, these freshers are coming into a conclusion okay for this i'll i have a few suggestion which you can take it into consideration or um, you can keep these points in your mind when you are trying for a uh, job as a fresher okay so here uh, the topic today's topic is why certified freshers are getting terminated after a month of training in a company okay this is a topic which i'm going to discuss today so before that, before entering into the topic, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and if you find it uh, uh, useful, please do share it with your friends also. Okay. So here, let's start the video. Like why certified freshers after a month of training, why company is terminating them? What is the reason behind that? This might be a question in most of us mind, right? So here. Uh, listen carefully and understand the things okay first of all for medical coding this is a very important point first of all in medical coding uh, companies are preferring or companies will prefer only life science people okay life science graduates only they are preferring and some companies they are taking non life science graduates also okay being a life science or a non life science graduate if you are a certified person and if a company is taking you or giving you an opportunity to work anyways they will give you 30 days of training or 45 days of training in this training they will be teaching you about their project like what project you are going to enroll that project training will be given from the company side so whatever the trainer is teaching you it, the trainer may be uh, the TL or the process coach or the manager whoever it may be so they will be teaching you each and everything about that project okay so being a candidate if you want to survive in the company you have to listen to it very very carefully take a notes understand things ask doubts to the trainer so if you are not able to follow them ask them like i'm i'm unable to follow it please teach me once more see most of i have worked as a trainer for a corporate company okay i'm i'm not mentioning the company's name here so i have seen candidates like uh, most of the company they will be taking 50 a batch or 100 students in a batch so all together only few like 10 or 15 members will be have they will be having the intention to work okay um, they need they need that job to survive for that they will be uh, doing their uh, training and everything dedicatedly but remaining people out of this 100 i'm telling about only 15 remaining people they are completely into that enjoying mode only uh, enjoying with friends playing taking breaks going here and there simply roaming these things only will be happen i'm not blaming anyone here mm. This is a situation which is happening with the company. Okay. So everything they are watching. Understand. You are under CCTV surveillance. Understand that. First. Understand that thing first. So everything. Each person in that company. Senior most people. Everybody will be making a note of you. So and everything like what you people are doing what how you are behaving with them everything will be discussed okay that is one point and second thing whatever like uh, it's not like um, uh, you are taking a personal one-to-one -one training there it's a group training okay it's a group training means normally the process coach or the team leader or uh, uh, the manager whoever uh, is taking your class they will be doing it in like teaching uh, in a highly professional way they won't teach you like kids like telling each and everything or uh, spelling it everywhere nothing like that okay so it will be in a professional way so it will 
will be fast only so being a interested candidate you have to make a note of each and everything so in that one month training every week you will be having an assessment so make sure you are clearing those assessments with positive marks that is pass marks okay being a certified person doesn't prove that uh, like uh, we are eligible to do that project nothing like that okay so how you are performing in the training period in a corporate company shows whether you want to be in or they should throw you out okay so that 30 days of training period is, will be very very crucial in that training period no team like no trainer will come and say no hr will come and say take things seriously and study if you are, if they are terminating you immediately the next day they will get another candidate loss is completely to you only okay it's not for the company so don't think like uh, if the company throws me out uh, they are going to suffer nothing like that if they throw you out immediately they will take 10 people inside that is that is uh, that that thing will happen okay so uh, if you really you need a job you should be dedicated you should dedicatedly learn things and uh, after uh, the office hours if you go to the hostel or if you go to the room discuss uh, with your uh, group mates and study things whatever that they are teaching you study things until you get a confirmation letter from the company so if you clear all the viva part and everything after the training period immediately you will be onboarded to the project okay so in from that day onwards you have a surety about your job so until that you have to study you have to study each and everything what the company is teaching you about their project this is a kind request to you all people because many of the people know uh, from Kerala or from any other state they are moving to like uh, they are coming to Chennai to work or to Bangalore for working and uh, they are staying in a hostel for after one month of training they will be telling like I got terminated so I came back to home uh, so that should not happen okay company should not terminate you so always if you are entering into company always have that in your mind so prepare daily you have to keep updated of all the changes which is happening in the coding sector like what are the updates in ICD what are the updates in CPT what are things what are new codes added what are the deleted codes everything you should be updated to work in this coding field it's not like uh, once I complete CPC certification everything is done nothing to study hereafter don't think like that each being a coder till date I am saying you till date I am learning things okay so if you wish to be in this line if you want to work in this field you have to keep yourself updated with all the things which are uh, uh, which are getting updated in ICD which are getting updated in CPT all the updated things you should be very clear with that okay this is this is the thing i want to discuss with you like um, uh, if if you are properly uh, carrying out the training part if you are understanding everything and if you are uh, uh, dedicatedly doing things nobody is going to terminate you okay go through all the things which they are uh, teaching you understand things very carefully uh, this makes you sustain in that company okay so um, if if you are practicing in this way and if you are keeping yourself updated if you are behaving very well during the training period nobody will terminate you uh, you can be in that company you can work with that company you can gain experience and do things okay and one more thing uh, here i have to point out that is uh, like if you are getting an offer about your company um, for example i'm telling uh, for example say xxx one company okay you are getting an offer from that company to work immediately uh, what you people are doing like i'm talking from the candidate side okay what these candidates are doing means they will inquire with their friends even though their friends are working in that company they will say don't come uh, don't come here it is fully hectic only uh, here full stress only shall i ask you one thing the company is paying you and um, the company is paying you do you think uh, without any stress or without any hard work or without any sort of problems you will get the salary nothing like that nobody is going to pay the company will pay you for working hard only 
not for sitting simply and playing okay so you have to work really really hard so don't discuss like don't ask uh, with the people who got terminated or uh, don't ask with the people you personally experience if you are sitting and listening to your friends words no you will sit at home others will work so never listen to your friends words just if you got an opportunity go to the company start working after a month you will understand about that company right whether you can uh, able to move on with the company or you don't you want to quit from that job anything either it is positive or negative you should personally experience it don't listen to others words it's their personal experience okay uh, so if for each and every person everything will be different so you have to experience everything on yourself so if uh, if you are getting an offer go join that company understand things if you are unable to uh, cooperate with them or unable to work with them you can quit the job and come by hearing your friends things and all and if you are not joining with the company means it is totally wrong don't do it okay uh, um, that that is the thing i want to point out here and uh, this thing sir okay and uh, till uh, for example uh, by giving this uh, interview guidance program i understood like many of us know what we are thinking like i have i'm graduated i'm cpc certified there is nothing to prepare nothing like that you for interviews we will be having three rounds in that first round will be an assessment second round will be one to one session and third round will be hr discussion for this three rounds you should prepare very well and go because it's not like one or two members attending the interview it's like 100 members attending in a day okay out of that 100 they will be choosing only 10 or 15 so we should be one among them we should be we should prove ourselves the best then only we will be getting selected out of that 100 okay so after you clear once you clear your cpc certification the from the next day you should start preparing for a, for your interview then only interviews will be easy for you and you can clear it um, easily so these are the things and keep uh, updated since uh, 2024 updates a lot of updates are there so go through the updates before you are attending the interviews that will help you to uh, perform really well okay and throughout uh, for the training period also you should uh, go apart from whatever they teach you have to update yourself with the things search in google and study okay or else if you have done your training with some training academy ask your trainer up about the updates so they will be helping you with it so these are the things uh, which i want to discuss uh, with you today and uh, one more thing if uh, whatever things i have said if you are uh, concentrating well uh, in your training period and if you are performing well in your training period if nobody is going to terminate you you will have a secure job in your hand take training period very seriously that's what i want to say okay so thank you so much for your time thank you for watching this video take care bye bye see you in next video bye